What is cracking, yo? Guys, today is day four of the daily challenge vlog for Hidden 6K here on YouTube, which I truly appreciate. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much, guys, for getting us to 6,000 followers on YouTube. It's so awesome. I love you guys. Today, we're gonna do some updates. We're gonna look through some stores. And then some merch came out. You know, walk around, see what's going on. It's gonna be a weekend. So, it might be a busy day. So, let's go around. But look at that. Wilderness Brother, the, the place you can get the secret drink. If you know, you know. All right, so here we go. First snack of the day. Boys and Bird Cheese Stick, what you were gonna be eating, and I'm gonna be eating the little bar. So, scrumptious. So, walking to Corner's Corner, I heard they have some new merch. And they do. Look at these hats. I like this. You know what this is? This is actually pretty tight. I kind of like this. What is this? How much is this? This is $34. That's actually pretty cool. I, I kind of like that. They got some plates and some cups. And then I like the new sweatshirts they have. They have t-shirts. They have the white sporty ones. And of course, under the hoodies. The hoodie is actually pretty cool. And then they have the red ones here. Now, the, these hats will look cool if they didn't have the net. I don't really like the trucker hats. But that is cool. And then that is cool. So, some, but this, I actually like this. I, I, I really, I ain't gonna lie. I actually dig that. This is something I have not seen. Yeah, a Franklin doll. Of course, Pink Pan, and of course, Lucy, Peppermint Patty. But Franklin finally got his doll. I haven't seen his, his movies though. We gotta watch his movie. His movie did come out. I haven't seen it yet, but we gotta watch it. But Franklin finally has his own stuffed toy. Of course, they still have 2024 merch. If you guys are looking for that merch, that merch is still here. They still have quite a few of it. They got the little tumblers. And of course, the puffin mugs look pretty cool. I kind of like that. The hats will look cool if they weren't white. I don't really like white hats. And of course, the Snoopy stuffies. And of course, they do still have the, um, the spirit jerseys, the t-shirts, and the spirit jerseys are here. I kind of like it. It's actually pretty tight. Of course, you do have other different types of uh, merch here in Quarters Corner, which I didn't see last time I came. These are actually pretty tight. If you guys like the train, they have quite a few of them. Of course, the Calico Mine. They're actually really cool. And they do have a little shot glasses. Of course, the version of coffee mugs. And of course, the version of tumblers. I still like the Snoopy tumbler over there. If you want to be the sheriff of the town. And of course, you got pins. They have collectible pins. If you guys are into collecting pins, there's quite a few of them here at Nuts. Of course, it wouldn't be a Boys and Bear Festival if they didn't have the really cool pictures as they usually do. And I love that one. There is ones here, Soul Towns. And of course, you know, as you see them, you can also purchase some. This one, which right here is already sold, but there are some really cool artworks that have here. Some of them are still available, so that I enjoy right there. And you can purchase the smaller prints as well. Yeah, they do have a section of where you can just get the prints if you don't want to spend a lot of money on the original art itself. But I mean, look at the creativity. The creativity in here is so, I like that. That right there is so cool. But it's already sold for $400. Yeah, you gotta get these fast. Yeah, this is sold too. A lot of things, they, they do sell out really really fast and you got the ghost town live characters right over there that is so cool of course if you don't want to buy the originals you can buy the prints here they have them for 20 dollars over here by the red shirt and of course the, the, the prints are just a little smaller than the originals themselves but like i said this over here is, i like this my boy josh got this one i saw his video he picked up one of those this is one i liked as well but if anything, I would either get the that one and maybe go to the live, but I kind of like that one there too. So that one right there, I think I might get as well. Uh, there is so much to choose from, but I do really, really like that one right there. Look at that, Mr. Boysenberry Widows is out today, Mr. Widows. He is out in his Boysenberry outfit. So we're going to be trying the boysenberry lemonade mint that they do have here at the ice cream place here by the calico by the saloon and also we're going to be trying the boysenberry soft serve 
icy here with vanilla. That's a big puppy. That's a big serving that Evil Baby is gonna be eating while I try this. All right, so here we go. Here is the lemonade boysenberry with the mint. That's good, refreshing. That's not bad. It is not an alcoholic. It is on the tasting card. So you guys have the tasting cards here for the Boys and Bear Festival. You can use it on this. And it's good. It's like on a hot day, this will be perfect. Refreshing the taste. You have hints of mint. I dig it. This is actually a really good drink. So this is the Boys and Bear Soft Serve Ice Cream here, which is also on the food card. If you guys have the food card, you guys get to use this. It's a very big portion. If you don't use the food card, um, you get the large portion which I have a really big question here. The mixture of the boysenberry and the ice cream is actually really good. So come get this on your food cart. It's gonna be a much smaller size. If not, it's like $10 like that. And that's actually really good. So I definitely recommend that. The lemonade, can't go wrong. So coming to Camp Snoopy, they finally opened up the Camp Snoopy store here. Of course, they must've just did it because there are signs here to say, just paint it. So everything is still wet, but let's go inside and check out the cool little merch that they have. And of course they got some stuff yeah. for summer. And a lot of schools, classrooms have walls. That's pretty tight. Yeah, Look at this s'mores yeah. pack. Yeah. Some little yeah. camping yeah. Huh. Yeah. Some yeah. magnets. Yeah. Some camping yeah. Legos. Yeah. Camping yeah. Woodstock. And, then, and look at the hoodie. Yeah. That's a pretty tight hoodie, especially if you go camping. Of course, have a little Kim Snoopy little hats out so the store is all different before you have a cashier register here and a cash register over there now it's just one so you got to come in and choose what you want with tons of snoopy merch everywhere there is we have a, a huge hat section they don't really have a huge hat section but 24 yeah cubs get the charlie brown gear and then here is the checkout section the checkout now it's just one section and you get the line here with of course goodies and stuff and of course you get the little ones section of course they've got the coffee mugs with the names they got the whole charlie brown section of course the 2024 section the joe cool section the plushies i like the hat section the hat section is they don't have a hat that i'm still looking for but they got a lot of hats to choose from that's a cool hat. See, I'm looking for this one, but in black. And the Rebel Rebel, I haven't seen this one yet. That one is pretty tight. Live loud. That is what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, look at that hoodie. That is a so cool hoodie. Look at this. Coasting through life. Love that. Coasters don't hair care. Love that. Oh, look at that. Dirt happens? Come on. What? They got Linus for security blanket? That one is also a pretty tight shirt. But I love this. This one here. Coasting through life. That was, that was actually really cool. I like that. For $19.99. That was actually really cool. Of course, there are a lot of cool plushies that they do have. Of course, you can still get your Snoopy boysenberry plushies. But, well, this is a lot of merch they added. I like this. This I didn't see before. That's for fun pie eating contest. Come on. That's so cool. Of course, you can also get, find your Charlie Brown Snoopy boysenberry festival gear here. Like I said, that shirt that shirt off earlier. You got very best day ever. This one here is actually really cool. Of course, the cool Snoopy boysenberry magnets. Look at that. Little tumblers. Of course, more plushies. And then, of course, more merch that they have. And of course, we did see these ones earlier over at Cody's Corner. I still like those. Dream big. That's right. Dream big, people. Dream big. And of course, they still have, like I said, the whole kid section. For all the little ones out there, I love my squad, squad goes, come on. Cool like that? So you need a bigger adult version of that. Even a cool adult version of these. 
those are pretty cool. Of course, they still have some more Peanut Celebration merch. If you guys didn't get it from the Peanut Celebration, they still have some merch here for sale over here in the Ken Snoopy store. And of course, they got a stash of boysenberry Snoopy keychains. I know everybody kept asking for those last time. And of course, when you come out, of course, here we go. Here are the figures. They still have a lot of the figures left. And of course, little knickknacks and toys. The Charlie Brown bracelets, and of course, like I said, the boysenberry Snoopies. They got a ton of these now. Now, the new camp Snoopy store is actually cool. They have a lot of cool things in there. It looks really neat. You can smell all the cool and fresh paint and everything else. What they need now is posters, postcards, some kind of pictures you can buy. That right there makes that store complete. I think it's missing some pictures that you can actually buy or the posters you find at stores. Because I would definitely would have bought a few of those shirts that they're poster size because a lot of them are actually really cool but that is open now so you guys come to camp snoopy the cool store the store inside looks really cool and the merch i love the new merch it's actually really cool as well stopping off eating at the grizzly creek lodge which they remodeled and redid i don't know how to go well anyway we got the cheeseburger and mac and cheese of course we got some ketchup sides but we eat the hot dog so i don't know what it is but I got the hot dog here at Grizzly Creek. The bread is hard as fuck. It's hard as heck. Maybe they put in the mic. You know, you put something in the mic, it gets really hard. The bread is so hard to chew. I, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know if it's stale bread. Put in the microwave. It's sat there too long in the heater, the warm. But the thing is hard. I can't even push down on it. Look at that. I can't even, like, crumble it. It's like hard bread and a hot dog. Now it's what are you doing? It's Boys and Bear Festival. This Grizzly Creek Lodge just opened up a week ago. This thing should be fresh. Fresh bread, fresh buns. This thing's hard as shit. Like literally, my, my shit is like as hard as this thing. This is one of the reasons why I don't come to eat at the Grizzly Creek Lodge. Because the food's always a hit and miss. Most of the time it's a miss. I'm just waiting for the dope machine to work. But I, I always pass this place down. I never really come here. And the, the bread, I can't even eat this. I take my hot dog out. And my fries are cold, but the bread for the hot dog is hard. I'm not joking, I'm not lying. It's, it's really, really hard. I don't know why it's so hard. Like I can throw this at somebody and give them a concussion. <laughs> why is it hard? You can see down here where the, where the train is, they took out the tracks. So I guess they're probably working on that next, but the, the track is all gone. I don't think they're getting rid of it. I don't think I heard anything about it, but the tracks are gone. Of course, they did switch it out, guys, to that's for Farm Rubber, which like fat toys here for the Boysenberry Festival. You can see people like playing this game because everybody is definitely a winner because she has some cool wood socks, but these are the ones that are out right now. Of course, I'm so very curious to how Montezuma's gonna come out in uh, the coming uh, next year. So it's gonna be very interesting to see the outcome of Montezuma's. Really excited for that, you know, looking forward to riding this puppy. So another update here in Fiesta Village is the dragon swings are still down. They're down when I came for Boys and Bear Festival and they are still down. I'm not too sure when they're coming back. I don't know what the complications are, but it's been down for over a week now. So when they come up, we'll definitely give updates uh, when they'll be back up. So they got the new Montezums Forbidden Fortress merch here. They got some shot glasses for the hats, coffee mugs, ooh, that hot hot sauce. But yeah, they got some little uh, drinks here. Of course, the magnets, the Montezums magnets. Of course, the ears. And of course, they have the t-shirt, Montezum t-shirts as well. Hoodies, shirts, some cool merch. They're really starting to come out. Mars is Revenge since it does come out in 2025, so looking forward to that. Of course, some more all these Mars is Revenge shirts. Mars is um, merch pretty much, so you guys excited? 2025? Can't kill any faster. This is me, you know, it's a busy day here at Nasbury Farm because it's celebrated right this uh, St. Patrick's weekend. It's a 150 minute wait time. And every time I come to Nasbury Farm, Pacific Coast Pastries and Rolls is always closed. Like literally always closed. It's either open it 
or close the motherfucker. Get rid of it or something because this thing's always closed every time I come. It's rare, very rare that I see this open. I really like the, the merch that Knox is coming out with. I mean, some of this stuff is actually really cool. I mean, this is like the front side and this is the back side. They're doing a really good job. Ever since this merger they've been, they've been having, the merch has been really cool. And of course, of course you gotta have not sweats. I mean, the, the Lego stuff, the builds are coming up pretty bigger. And you guys know, I picked up that one right there. Oh, now they have the windmill. That is so cool. But now they have a whole bunch of variety of animals that you can come and build the Legos here. Some of the animals that they have here for Knott's Berry Farm. See, that's pretty cool. I kind of like, I like that windmill. That windmill's pretty tight. So that's going to conclude our day short, sweet, fast. That's the way I like it. Fun times. But there you go. That concludes day four, day three. I don't know where on this six day daily vlog challenge thank you very much guys you guys are awesome you guys are amazing thanks for hanging out with me and thanks for everybody who came and up and said hi at the park you guys are awesome thank you once again until next time we're out peace